Hello, hi, um, my name is Emma and I'm currently in my third year at the Royal Conservatoire Scotland working on the Contemporary Performance course and this term we are working on placement and my placement is with Gary Gardner and working with the company Off the Rails. Um, I'm really excited. Um, I'm enjoying it so far and the idea of video and vlogging is terrifying for me so that's cool that we'll combat that and this whole articulation thing which I'm not very good at. Yes but I think it's a really important thing for me to start doing and start video vlogging and getting my thoughts out this way mainly because I hurt my hand a bit silly of me and I hurt my hand during a performance but anyway Okay, so the main focus of this will be to go through things like my thoughts and others' opinions using performance within a community and educational context. Um, I have a lot of views of my own personal views of what education it means to me, um, and I know through my own education there was a lot of gaps which could have been filled with other things, uh, which could have been filled with other things, yeah. But there were a lot of gaps in my education which should have been seen, um, mainly because I was learning in one style a lot of the time. Also because I was only found to be dyslexic when I reached the Royal Conservatoire, which is a big, big change in my life and seeing how I work in different ways. I just don't work the same way everyone else works, or the same people, way people who aren't dyslexic work. Um, which is not really addressed, wasn't addressed through my school, and it should have been, and actually knowing the signs of dyslexia now, it should have been really easy to spot. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to, to start this blog all about education and all about my thoughts and my views on it and how performance and how art can work within schools and how it can change the way you teach. Um, and one of the brilliant things I love about working at the moment within Scotland is because of the new curriculum for excellence which is such a change from what was done previously and what is done down south what is done in England and Wales um, and I know the Welsh education has a lot there's a lot there's a lot to answer for there within their education system obviously there were a lot of good points probably within it as well but looking back I can see a lot of areas where it could have been improved um, when looking at the Scottish education system and now this new chance to have this new way and especially as it's only been around a couple of years and people are still getting used to it this idea of multi-layering and, mul and learning in different ways and how you can take a concept and learn all and use all the different things that you would have attained through school and through learning your math skills your physics skills your English skills, your history skills, and be able to put them all together to use them in different ways and creative diff and in, in creative ways shows you how to apply it when you leave school. Because actually, when you go into the world, the world isn't as black and white as a as it is in school. It isn't you just do a test and it finishes? That's not kind of the way the world works. So, to actually give students the opportunity to or pupils the opportunity to go through school thinking of this and using it and applying it to different ways and applying it as a learner is an amazing thing. Um, it's also quite a radical thing and quite a radical change and I think it will take some time, it will it definitely will take time and that it will be, I reckon in 10, 20 years time we're going to start reaping the benefits of this new system which is amazing and yeah, it is a really, I think it has a lot of opportunity. And there's also a lot of people who are very resistant to the new education system, to curriculum of excellence. So I'm going to be looking into them as well and finding their arguments so I can sort of see where I sit and see where I sit at the moment and where I will in three, four months' time when I've done this for a while and how my opinions change from these beginning blogs and how they will change and go forth. So yes, my first block, woo!